And I'm sorry to say that prosperity has gone a little crazy. And I'm correcting my own uh, 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 theology. And you need to all know it. Because when I read the Bible now, I don't see the Bible in the same eyes I saw the Bible 20 years ago. And Steve Strang from Charisma, whom we go back years, he actually, he was in my wedding. People don't even know that Charisma Magazine began with my father-in-law. Charisma Magazine started with Roy Harden, and I married his daughter. So Steve Strang was in, in my wedding. We go way back. And he's already asked me, said, are you ready to make it public? I said, well, not Totally. Because I don't want to hurt my friends whom I love, who believe things I don't believe anymore. And I will tell you now something that is, is going to shock you. I think it's an offense to the Lord. It's an offense to say, give a thousand dollars. I think it's offense to the Holy Spirit to place a price on the gospel. I'm done with it. I will never again ask you to give a thousand or whatever amounts because I think the Holy Ghost is just fed up with it. Are you, did you hear me? I think that hurts the gospel. So I'm making this statement for the first time in my life and frankly I don't care what people think about me anymore. So I, I, I had a guy well, I'll tell you who. It was Dan Willis. I, I, I love Dan with all my heart. I said, don't you dare preach that message again. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few days ago. I said, no, no. I said, when, when, I'm not going to hear it. I don't want to be a part of it. So I, when they invite me to telethons, I think they will not like me anymore. <laughs> because if you look at the Word of God, I don't want to get into it now. Am I shocking you? Good. Let's have a high five on this one. If I hear one more time, break the back of debt with a thousand dollars, I'm going to rebuke them. I, I, I think that's buying the gospel. That's buying the blessing. That's grieving the Holy Spirit. That's about all I will say. If you are not giving because you love Jesus, don't bother giving. I think giving has become such a gimmick, it's making me sick to my stomach. And I've been sick for a while too. I just couldn't say it. And now the lid is off. I've had it. You know why? I don't want to get to heaven and be rebuked. No, I think it's time we say it like it is. The gospel is not for sale. And the blessings of God are not for sale. And miracles are not for sale. And prosperity is not for sale. 